So we're at day five now. Hopefully you'll know how to move back and forth. So now we're just going to move side to side. The exact same starting position. Two, two feet, two hands, knees off the ground. If you have to do it, if you admit, because this is this can be very confusing, okay? If you have to start your knees, that's by all means, even if you can crawl back and forth comfortably. If you need to start your knees just to get that right movement because it can be it can be confusing which leg to start, which, which arm to start with. So what I'm gonna do is I'll do it on my knee first. I'm gonna lift my hand off the ground, my right, my right arm, my left knee, push them out. So my hands should be closer, my knees should be apart. And now I'm gonna lift my left knee, or sorry, my right knee and my left hand. And now my knees should be closer, my hands should be apart. Okay, and then we're gonna see that, I'll just do the other side, here and here. Okay, so knees off the ground this time. Knees are controlled. Here, here, three, and then see it, go to the other side. And have the exact same arm and leg that I've just lifted. Okay. So that's a side to side element. Now we can combine everything and we can make scores. So what we do, I'll just cause my space, I'm into the space. I'll do two steps forward, two steps to the cross. Two steps back, two steps across. So from here I'll start in the corner and it's going to be here and here. Okay, I'll get three in. Here we go. Now I'm going to have to think, I want to move this way, so I'm going to move this arm and this knee first. One, two, three. Now I've got to go backwards. One, two, three. And now I've got to think this one, so I'm going to go one, two, three. It requires a lot of thinking in this one, believe me, it'll take you a while to understand and work, work with shoulder to lift and with leg to lift. But the key is, when you're thinking like this, don't put your knees in the ground if you can. Try to stay in that position and keep yourself working. 